All right, guys, we have another unboxing from Amazon. It is kind of heavy, and it has my name on it, I think. I get, my eyes are getting worse every day, I think. No, they're getting better. They're getting better. Positive reinforcement. Okay, this is mine. It weighs 5.4 pounds. Kind of heavy, and it needs to be opened. So, it's almost Friday. So, we got one little job to do. If it doesn't rain, I got it. Fantastic, finally Friday. And I got a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. It's all in one box package and it's not, doesn't make any sense, but let's go ahead and pull out the stuff that does make sense. This is a energy bar me on the, I had enough of those on the first box. Atkins chocolate bar, what is this thing? It's a pretzel bar. Meal replacement, 16 grams of protein, four grams of net carbs, one gram of sugar, seven fibers, and 200 calories. So that is a fueling backup. Okay, back to the packages. All right, we have, we have a four inch stencil kit, stencil it. Ta -da. We have another four inch stencil it, stencil it kit and reusable oil board lettering set. And we have another, how many of these I buy? Another, uh, these are all the same. Why did I buy so many? Okay. All right. I have. I have an explanation for doing this craziness. Okay, remember those boxes or crates I found? Well, we're going to letter them up. And when you letter them up, I think this only has one set of letters. Okay, this set contains A to Z, all numbers, zero to nine, plus each one, okay, has an extra a E O R S in the symbols and money cents and colon semicolon period or whatever. So these are reusable, but I bought a few extra because they were kind of cheap. So how much did I spend? Uh, they were seven dollars and thirty cents. So I spent twenty nine bucks, but. What I'm going to do is tape these together really good, and I'm going to use them over and over and over and over and over again. So I didn't want to buy just one and then not be able to finish and then have to cut everything apart and then retape it because I'm, I'm planning on doing 584 tree, tree life. So when you spell tree a few times and then, <laughs> then you have 584 tree, um, it just... I want to have a couple sets so I can make a couple so I don't have to tear them apart. So that's, that's the method of my madness. So that's why I did that. So I, I might have spent an extra 10 bucks, but anyway, I'd rather spend a little bit more and have more than I need, you know, because I can put two of these and keep them in the shop. And then if they lose them or they tear or they go bad, I can, I have a backup. So, all right, I spent 30 bucks. So that's that. That is that. 30 bucks, good investment. And then everything you stencil is, has less chance of walking away with your name all over it. If they do steal it, they have to advertise for you. All right, that's that. This next thing, I already have a lock. So this is the Master Lock Hasp Solid Steel Hidden Hasp 9 inch wide 770 automotive. That is 20 bucks, $1.50 tax, so it's $21.48. So $21.50 for this. And what this is, if you want to get a close up with this bad boy, this is something you put on like vending machines or you put it on 
uh, doors that you do not want broken in or uh, like the gate like say the back door gate on the back of your enclosed trailer or your shop door correct so what this does you mount there's no hardware no software either okay they don't have any destructions. Self-explanatory. Master Lock Company, of course, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We don't need to give you nothing extra. Maximum security uh, with use of Master Lock 6271 padlock sold separately. So, all right, that's all you get. Mounting hard hardware not included. Uh, six three h inch uh, ten millimeter stainless carriage bolts, uh, length diameter to application master uh, washers and nuts required to install. Uh, use hasp as template to mark hole locations. Uh, a quarter inch six millimeter gap is recommended for most applications, and then the rest is in Spanish and then Portuguese or whatever Chinese. I don't know. So anyway. You're on your own, boys. <laughs> this here goes like a so. So, what you do is you mount one of these on your building or on your whatever, your trailer or what have you. If it goes this way or that way. And then, when you shut the door or trailer, whichever way it goes or both of them shut you make it to where when they land they land like so and then you put your you can put a regular lock hasp in there but it's recommended this is made uh, to put a puck lock on so you set the puck lock in here and then you this is a area to where you can unlock it so this is your access hole to the key um, I've seen these, I used to use them on vending machines a lot. And the reason they put this around here, this is to protect the lock because believe it or not, when they first made these, they didn't have this extra protection. <laughs> and people were taking humongous um, pipe wrenches and just reaming them because you have a, you get a lot of leverage from a pipe wrench. So if you have a long enough pipe wrench and you grab a hold of that sucker and you spin it, something's gonna pop or break. So. You can either do this method or now they have a ring around the puck lock that spins so you can't get any leverage on it. So you could probably do both. You could put that inside here. It'd be overkill, but if you would like to go overboard, that would be another additional way to make it even more secure is have the outer ring spin and have protection here. Like I said, if somebody wants to get into something, they're going to get in. All you can do is slow them down. So this is one of the best ways to slow them down here. So I'm going to put this in addition to all the other stuff, an alarm system and dogs and all that. I'm going to push this in addition on the shop and some of my other doors. And everything else is barred up and stuff. So, And then I have a security guard 24-7. But I want to be secure as possible so why not spend because i already have a couple puck locks why not spend that extra what was it what did i say how much was this thing <laughs> 30 bucks what was it an extra 30 bucks or something and uh because the i think the lock's even more expensive so buy yourself one of these and buy your hardware um probably at home depot or something and make yourself as secure as possible especially during these times you don't know when somebody's going to think that you have something that they really want inside your shop which you might or might not and it's it's going to be doing them a favor as well because if they break in and steal your stuff or try to and then they get arrested and then you know you're out money and then you got to replace it and an insurance company and it's just a big nightmare so you're doing everybody a favor by doing this that way keeps people honest so anyway this is roger with roger's reviews and i think this is an excellent idea 
Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you guys decide on getting something like this. And if you don't have a puck lock, you can put a regular lock in there until you can get a puck lock because this is very secure even with a lock and then it makes it super secure uh, with a puck lock. And then if they're basically going to either have to torch or grind the whole door apart and it's going to be a lot easier for them to find someone else to deal with than go through all that hassle of trying to get find what's behind this door. So anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews. Like the video, crush the like button, and we'll bring you more on the next one. God bless and take care.